all right all righty so in today's video i'm going to be sharing with you three option strategies that can help you generate consistent profits so all these three strategies that i'm going to be sharing with you today all have their win rate that is above 80 percent and in certain cases you can actually construct them to be more than 90 percent all right so let's dive into these three strategies so the very first one that i'm going to share with you is what is called the broken wing butterfly all right so the very first thing we want to do when we are constructing the put broken wing butterfly is to choose our expiration date or the dte so as you can see down here there are quite a number of uh, different dte dates so the one that i like to choose is close to 45 dte and i explained this in quite a number of my videos already so i'm not going to go into detail here so basically the closest one is going to be this one down here where there is about 43 days right so i'm going to open up the option chain here now the next thing you want to do is to choose the short strike for the put broken wing butterfly right to choose the short strike the one that we want to look out for is this delta column down here so we're going to decide our short strike based on the delta because the delta pretty much determines what is the win rate of your strategy based on where you choose your short strike yeah so i'm going to go all the way up down here i'm going to select more strikes so the one that i'm really looking out for is somewhere from 15 to 20 delta so as you can see it's somewhere around here so how do you know whether the strategy is going to have you know more than 80 percent win rate or not so a very quick hack is by taking a look at the delta down here because the delta also gives an indication of this strike being in the money at expiration right so if it says 20 deltas it means to say there's a 20 percent chance that it's going to be in the money at expiration which means to say that it's going to be a loss right but it also means to say there is an 80 percent chance that it's going to be out of the money which means to say the price the market is going to land somewhere above this 466 strike down here so we want to craft it whereby you know if the short strike is somewhere around 20 delta then we know that our win rate is going to automatically be more than 80 percent right so the broken wing butterfly if you're not very familiar with it basically just is a combination of a put credit spread that is financing a put debit spread right so for this we're just going to construct the uh, put credit spread side first so what i'm going to do is i'm just use this 20 delta down here this 466 strike down here as an example so i'm going to choose this 466 strike and then I'm going to choose the uh, wings that is 10 points wide, just as an example first. So we're going to go to choose the 10 points away from 466, which is 456. So right now we have a 10 point wide credit spread. This is a put credit spread. Now we need to use this credit down here, which you can see is a dollar six cents to finance the purchase of a put debit spread. So in order to purchase a put debit spread that is going to be cheaper than this credit, which we have, it means to say the width of this put debit spread has to be smaller than 10 points wide. So again, as an example, I'm just going to choose five points wide. So I'm going to choose this 471 and then 466. So because we already have the short strike at 466, what we're going to do is go down here and I'm going to change this to two. So this, as you can see, the system already recognize it as a butterfly, right? So overall, you're going to get a net credit for this. Now, if you get a net debit, then you know that you're doing something wrong, right? Let's say, for example, if you chose the put debit spread to be slightly wider, let's say 475, then you notice that this is a 61 cents debit, right? If there's no minus sign down here, this is debit, that means you're paying for it. And if you're paying for it, it just means that it's not going to be, you know, riskless to one side. In fact, now there's going to be risk to both sides. So this is one thing you need to really take note of when you're constructing the broken wing butterfly so let's adjust this back to the five point y so again as you can see down here we have 24 cents in credit which means to say 24 dollars for selling this put broken wing butterfly now the next thing is to take a look at our pnl graph which is down here so this is the typical pnl graph for the broken wing butterfly right as you can see there's absolutely no risk to the upside so this is where the current market price is let me just get my drawing tool so this is where the current market price is. As you can see, when you first put it on, if the market just goes all the way up, then you're not going to lose money, right? You're going to make the minimum credit, which you sold this whole structure for. So in this case, it's going to be $24. Now, if the market goes down, then you also have a chance to make more than this $24 because if it lands somewhere in this tent at expiration, then you're going to make much more than that right so how much more so it comes down to exactly which part of the tent it lands in 
So the way to see how much you're going to make is basically you just hover your cursor over, you know, the different price points. So let's say, for example, it lands somewhere around here. Then you're going to be making somewhere around $243. If you pin the short strike expiration, then it's going to be $453. Now, all the way to the left hand side, you can see that this is where your max loss is, right? This is where your max loss. So if the market goes too far down, then one thing is that your max loss has already been kept, right? So if it goes all the way to zero, you don't have to worry about that as well because the most you can lose, as you can see on this graph over here, let me just change the cursor, is about $476. So the max loss is $476 and the max profit is somewhere around $462, which means to say it's roughly a 1 is to 1, which is not so bad. Now, the pool broker wing butterfly is a pretty flexible structure in which you can actually you know just change the strikes up a little bit and you can have a slightly different structure based on what you want let's say for example you want slightly more credit on the right hand side right if you want more credit then this is what you do so first of all let me just remove this drawing and then we want to go back to the option chain above so right now we already have a five point white debit spread now in order to have more credit up front then what you want to do is you want to reduce this size of this put debit spread. So maybe you go down to only three points wide. So if you get three points wide for the put debit spread, you notice that your credit goes up to 60 cents, which is $60 when you sell this uh, broken wing butterfly. So let's take a look at the PL graph. So you can see the PL graph down here. On the right hand side, you notice that it's now slightly thicker than just now, right? It's slightly thicker. So which means to say now, you know, if the market goes all the way up, you can make slightly more than just now. Now, the trade-off is that you will notice that your tent over here is so much smaller, right? Your tent, your max profit zone, so to speak, is going to be much smaller, which means to say if you want to hit this at expiration, there's going to be lesser chance. Also, what you'll notice is that your max loss actually also increased, right? Because the max profit from the put debit spread is now only close to $300, right? As you can see, it's about 298 or so. So because of this reduced profit from the max profit zone, it actually increases the max loss which you have. So this is if you want to have you know, more credit up front. Now, what if you're slightly more you know, conservative and you're afraid that the market might go down and you do not want to lose that much? Then this is where you want to change it, whereby the tent is slightly bigger. So let me just remove the drawings and let's get back to the option chain again. Now, in order for you to have a bigger tent, you just have to widen up this put debit spread. So previously, the original one which we have is 5 point wide. So let's try 6 point wide. So if we try 6 point wide down here, you notice that we only get about 5 cents credit, right? Which is $5. But the trade-off is that now you actually have a much bigger tent, right? As you can see down here, the tent is so much bigger and your max profit zone has also widened up, right? As you can see down here, this profit zone down here becomes bigger, which means to say you have a greater chance right now to land somewhere inside this tent over here. And what you also notice is that your max loss has also been reduced dramatically, right? As you can see now, the max loss is 395 compared to the one just previously is about 600 odd dollars. And now this max profit is $540. Right, so now your win rate is slightly better in terms of your max reward to your max risk. Right, so this is how you actually play around with the strikes to construct a different broken wing butterfly. So this is the very first option strategy. Now the next option strategy is actually just a variation of this broken wing butterfly. So what is this strategy? Right, so let's go up to this option chain down here. So let me just remove this drawing, go up to the option chain again. So for this next structure is what is called the put condor. So how does this work? By the way, if you like this video so far, please subscribe and also click the thumbs up button. And also do get your free copy of the Options Income Blueprint where I share the top three option strategies that help you generate a consistent income each month trading just one to two hours a day, right? So if you want to go ahead to get this copy, just head on over to optionswithdavis.com slash blueprint. All right, back to the video. So right now, what we have is this uh, credit spread, this put credit spread and the put debit spread, both of them, they are sharing the same uh, strike down here, the same short strike. Now for you to construct this put condor, you all you have to do is just shift this whole put debit spread much away from where the put credit spread is. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to remove this strike down here. I'm going to change this back to one. So what's left down here is our 
put credit spread. Now we want to use this $1.06 in premium which we have to finance our put debit spread. So what I'm going to do down here is I'm going to shift the put debit spread to somewhere near at the market, right? So let's say for example, I'm going to choose 484 and let's just see, you know, how wide of a put debit spread we can actually get without getting into a debit. So let's choose two points wide. Now you notice if I go two points wide, I can still get a credit. What about if I go three points wide? Three points wide is going to be a debit which means to say we've already you know, reached the threshold of what we can stretch the put debit spread to. So we got to stick at just two points wide. So if we were to take a look at the PL graph, you notice now it looks something like this. So this is a slight variation of the uh, put brokering butterfly. All you're essentially doing is just splitting up the spread from one another, right? So the put credit spread and the put debit spread is just further away. Now, when you do this, the trade-off is that Firstly, you get lesser max profit than compared to the put brokering butterfly, right? The put brokering butterfly at the apex of the tent, you get much more profit. Whereas for this, you only get about 229. Now, although you get a lower max profit, your max profit zone has been dramatically increased, right? As you can see down here, your max profit zone is now very wide. In fact, as long as the market closes below where the current market price is, as long as it does not go past this break-even zone, of course, you're going to be in a profit, right? Because this is where the current market price is again, right? So if the market goes down, even it goes down even slightly just by a little bit, you are already inside the max profit zone. Right, so this is the put condor or the skewed condor, right? So as you can see down here, the system recognizes it as a condor. Now, this is not to be mistaken for the iron condor. Now, the iron condor with the name iron, you just have to know that there's a combination of both put and call options, right? But in this case, it is all put. So if you have the condor structure that looks like this, and it's only all one type of options, then it's just going to be called the condor, all right? Okay, so for here, let's take a look at what's the max loss for this uh, structure. As you can see, the max loss down here is 771. So 771 down here and your max profit is 229, which is I think roughly about 1 is to 3 point something, just slightly under 1 is to 4, right? So if you want to change the structure of this, you actually can as well, right? So for example, if you want slightly more credit up front, this is what you do. All you've got to do is just shift this put debit spread slightly downwards in a sense whereby below where the current market price is, right? So if you see this uh, strike down here, you can see the current market price is somewhere within down here, right? This is where the add the money is. So if we were to shift the strikes down here, let me just shift it down. Let's say I go to 482 and 480. Now you're going to have slightly more credit up front, right? And if you take a look at the structure over here, you can see that you have slightly higher profit down here. But now you have a slightly smaller max profit zone, right? The, the range is going to be smaller. So this is the put condor. So now I've already shared with you two strategies, right? The first strategy is the put brokering butterfly, whereby, you know, the apex is somewhere down here, right? You have a tent and this is the max profit. Now, if you were to just split up this put debit spread down here and you shift it to the right, then this is where you're going to get this put condor. Now for the final strategy I'm going to share with you, all it's going to be doing is again shifting this right side of the spread even further to the right side. So now we're going to have this spread that's pushed to the right that is above where the current market price is and I call this the Jade Iron Condor. So how do you construct the Jade Iron Condor? So first of all, the put brokering butterfly, if you recall, is basically this put debit spread down here shares the same short strike as the put credit spread. Now for the put condor, what we're going to do is we're going to stretch it out where it's somewhere just below where the current market price is, right? So for the Jade Iron Condor, we're going to push this even further out, right? So now it's going to be above where the current market price is. So we want to shift it somewhere around here. But we are not going to use this put debit spread here because if you were to use this put debit spread somewhere down here, what's going to happen is that this is going to be considered an in the money put debit spread. And as you know, any short put that is going to be in the money, there's going to be a chance of being assigned early. So this is not what we're going to do, right? On top of that, usually any in the money strikes, the bid and ask spread is going to be generally wider than if you were to use the counterpart, which is the call side, right? So for this, we are just going to shift this from the put side to the call side. So we're going to construct the Jade Iron Condor using a call spread. 
So how do you know which delta to use? So generally, I like to use somewhere around 30 to 35 deltas. So let's say let's just use 35 deltas as the short strike here. And this is where we want to construct our call credit spread. So for the Jade Iron Condor, what we're going to have is a put credit spread and a call credit spread. So it's very similar to the Iron Condor. The only difference is that we want to have a much smaller call spread on this side because we do not want to have any risk to the upside. Right. So in this case, we want to construct one where we do not have risk to the upside. So how do we do that? We do that by simply knowing, you know, what is the credit we receive compared to the width of this call spread. So basically, in general, the rule of thumb is that if you do not want to have any risk to the upside, then the total credit which you receive has to be bigger than the width of the call side. So as you can see in this case, if I have a one point wide call spread, and then my credit I receive is a dollar and forty three cents. It just means that if the market goes past this point at four nine five, I'm not going to take a loss. In fact, I'm going to have a spillover of roughly forty three cents, right? So you can take a look at the PL graph as well to take a look at this. So as you can see down here, this again is where the current market price is, and this is where our call spread is down here. So if the market goes all the way up past our call spread, we still can get the minimum profit, which is the difference between the credit and the call spread width, right? So if the call spread width is $1 and I receive $1.43, which means to say my max profit on the right hand side is going to be roughly around $43, right? So as you can see, the PL it says 43 and then all the way on the left hand side, our max loss is $857. So as you can see down here, this Jade Iron Condor again is pretty similar to the put condor which we used early on. All we're doing is that we're shifting the spread side to the right hand side. And instead of getting a debit spread, right now we're getting a credit spread in the call option side. So as you can see, they are all pretty similar to each other. And for this, you're going to have a much wider max profit zone. But then the trade-off is that you're going to have, you know, slightly lesser max profit at the profit zone. So as you can see down here, your max profit is around $143 and then your max loss is roughly $857. So with this Jade Iron Condor, you can actually try and, you know, roughly change the strikes and see what is the most you can get in terms of this spread, right? So let's take a look at if we were to craft, say, two points by. If we craft two points wide, you notice that our credit is only going to be a dollar seventy-seven cents, which means to say we're going to have a risk to the upside, right? If you take a look at the PL graph down here, you notice right now, let me just remove these drawings. You can see that right now, from here onwards, it's all going to be a loss, although it's just going to be a minimal loss. But if you do it this way, what's going to happen is that your max profit here is going to increase. So as you can see down here, the max profit is going to be slightly higher than just now. Just now it's 143, now it's $177. But now your win rate is going to be reduced because your win rate right now is only going to be in the middle down here. And if the market goes too far out from this point on, is going to be a loss. So this won't be an 80% win rate. So this is a structure that we do not want to craft, right? So we want to structure it differently again. So we know that we probably cannot go for two points wide. We only can go for one point wide. If you want to go for two points wide, then maybe you need to go for a slightly higher delta in this case. So let's try 488 and 490. And you can see down here, we have $2.07 credit for a $2 wide credit spread with down here, which means to say with this structure down here, we are going to get a higher max profit. So as you can see, it's going to be $207, which is higher than $177 or $143 just now. But if it goes too far to the right hand side from this point onwards, if it goes past here, then you're just going to make you know, the minimum, right, which is about $7, right, as you can see. So as you can see, guys, this is all a pretty much a trade off. And the structures are all pretty similar to each other. If you want to have more max profit, then you want to go for the broken wing butterfly. If you want to have something in the middle, which is a balance of, you know, pretty nice uh, max profit as well as, you know, pretty decent wide max profit zone, go for the put condor. And if you want one that has a very, very wide profit zone, but you do not mind, you know, the credit not being that much, then you can go for the Jade Iron Condor.
All right, so I hope you found this video helpful. And if you have, I greatly appreciate if you give me a thumbs up on this video. By the way, if you like this video, then you're absolutely going to love this next video which I have for you. So go ahead and watch that video right now. Also, if you haven't already gotten your free copy of the Options Income Blueprint, you can do so just by clicking this link down here on your screen and you'll be able to get it for free. All right, I will see you in the next video.